Hi everyone! So welcome back to my channel. Again, this is Miria Donis of MJL Realty TV and Will Blanza Realty TV. So for today's vlog, papakita ko sa inyo ang newly launched project natin in Mall of Asia. So kung narinig yun na yung ICE Residences, this is a newly launched project actually this week lang. And ngayon, papakita ko nga sa inyo kung ano yung meron nga ba sa ICE Residences. So by the way, uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe para updated kayo sa mga bago naming videos. about ICE Residences. Okay, so first, let's talk about the location. So, ICE Residences is located at Sunrise Drive Corner, EDSA Extension, Mall of Asia Complex, Pasay City. So, yes, tama po. Uh, this is located at Mall of Asia lamang. So, actually, uh, if familiar kayo sa isa naming project na C Residences, katabi niya lang po ang ICE Residences or ICE Tower. And on the other side naman, uh, we have also the Shell Residences, Sale Residences, and Shore Residences. So actually, this is a 2-3 to three minute walk away from Mall of Asia Complex. So ngayon, uh, let's talk about also the section elevation of Ice Tower. So we have here the basement one. This is located, ah, basement one located yung basement parking natin, of course. And for the ground floor natin, the commercial, and then the lobby. So by the way, guys, for the commercial uh, spaces natin, normally si SMDC talaga merong mga commercial space uh, para mas maging convenient para sa ating mga clients and investor. So for commercial, we have also the bank, the coffee shop, restaurant, and sometimes hypermarket, meron na din tayo doon, okay? And for second floor and third floor, uh, dito naman located yung additional parking slots natin. For fifth floor, located dito yung amenities natin, which is the pool, the gym, social uh, uh, function rooms, and other. So, uh, we have also additional or meron din tayong konting residential office units here at 5th floor. But from 6th floor to 17th floor, this is purely a residential offices units uh, on this floor. And for the roof deck natin, we have the viewing deck. So viewing deck, uh, pwede nyo rin puntahan, especially if you want to witness yung view ng sunrise and sunset natin, you can uh, relax at the view deck natin or viewing deck natin. Okay, so for the building features of ICE Tower, uh, we have six passenger elevator dedicated for residential and office use. Uh, we have the proximity card homecoming, uh, home, homing features and we have also the CCTV cameras in common areas and yes, lahat po ng SMDC projects natin, we have the uh, 24 7 cctv uh, in all common areas natin uh, we have also the high density telecoms the mailbox uh, mailbox room located at the lobby uh, fire sprinkler system automatic fire detection and alarm system and the standby uh, standby backup automatic generator system natin so 100 percent for common areas and 100 percent for resto units and yes po uh, lahat po nung uh, mga condo ng SMDC, we have the backup generator. Okay? And... Alright guys, 
Hi! So, ngayon pag-uusapan naman natin ang RESO unit. So, ano nga ba ang RESO unit talaga? Okay? So, what are the difference between the RESO unit and then the residential unit of SMDC project? So, especially dito kay ICE Residences natin, this is the first RESO unit projects natin na nilaunch. Uh, na nilaunch. Okay? So, ngayon, uh, let's first uh, answer the frequently asked question, definition of terms. What is a RESO unit? So, sabi dito, RESO unit, uh, it refers to a condominium unit designated for residential or office use. Okay, so, residential, uh, RESO use also, or RESO unit, refer to the use of, for living accommodations, and for the conduct of business, and other exercise of profession. So, in here kasi, um, the residential kasi, the difference between the residential uh, space and then the commercial or reso unit natin, for residential properties, exclusive use to for private living quarters natin. So, while for commercial or the reso units natin, uh, this property or it refers to any property used for business activities and then at the same time, residential. Okay, or private living quarters natin. So, uh, mostly kasi si SMDC, uh, we have projects talaga na for personal uh, use or the residential use. So, ngayon lang tayo nagkaroon ng RESO unit. Okay, so, uh, uh, especially kay ano lang to, parang exclusively kay ICE residences. So, you can turn your uh, living space into a office space. But also, um, syempre, uh, meron din tayong mga restrictions and then we need to follow the uh, rules and regulations ng developer na implement dun sa project natin or sa property natin. Okay? So, okay. so I have here also um, the frequently asked question, what are the maximum number of persons allowed in RESO units? So, for the maximum person po allowed, uh, allowed po tayo ng 6 person, uh, meron tayong maximum of 4 occupants and 2 visitors. So, number 4 um, is the combination of units allowed. Uh, yes po, allowed din po yung combination po yung unit natin, but uh, units uh, are allowed but subject for SMDC policy for combination of units. So, number 5, uh, are signages allowed outside the unit? Yes, signages din po are allowed. Uh, location will be defined and subject by house rules and regulations. So, if you're um, going to use your unit as your uh, office unit, pwede din po tayong maglagay ng mga signages natin para mas madali pong mahanap nung um, visitor natin, okay? Or some of the clients na meron tayong appointment. So, number uh, six, can the business use building name and address? So, yes po, pwede din po natin gamitin yung uh, business can, uh, yes, the business can use the building name and address. Okay? So That's it for today's video. I hope na nakatulong ako sa inyo para mas lalo niyong maintindihan kung ano nga ba yung RESO unit natin. But if hindi, uh, may hindi ako nasagot or hindi ako natakel na information about uh, ICE Residences RESO units natin, uh, don't hesitate to call me anytime. Okay? So, I leave my number below. And don't forget to subscribe also my channel, MJL Realty TV, and our main channel, Will Blenza Realty TV. So again, this is Mir Yudonis of SMBC International.